What is good at Nish and it's Stock J back with another video. And in this one, we're going to be talking about the one and only AMC stock, what you should be looking after for the future. I'm also going to break down an unknown catalyst that's out there for AMC that a lot of people are not actually paying too much attention to. Now, before I break anything down about why I'm still very bullish for AMC and what this very big bullish catalyst is, I do have to mention a couple of things before starting. Firstly, I'm not a financial planner. Take none of this as financial advice whatsoever. And also, if you guys can, please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this. It not only benefits me, it benefits the entire Ape community as a whole. And the last thing is, if you guys can, please check out the Mumu link down below and in the description. If you sign up for Mumu, the link down below. Deposit 100 bucks into the account, you're guaranteed up to 15 free stocks, each worth up to $2,000. And the best part is, any could be a free AMC share, a free Tesla share, or a mix of all of them. It's a limited time offer. The offer ends in two weeks. Check it out before they run out. But that's out of the way. Let's get on with the video. So anyways... Looking at AMC, I'm sure you guys noticed that the share price is relatively low compared to its all-time high. Now, the thing about this is, could AMC squeeze past its all-time high? Yes, I believe it can. However, however, I don't want to just talk about the squeeze. I don't want to just talk about, you know, hedge funds and the same things that the majority of people have been just paying attention to. I also want to focus on AMC's fundamentals because I believe fundamentals could also play a big role in the squeeze. So one question a lot of people have is, will AMC survive this year? Especially because demand is going to slow down. You know, a lot of businesses are going to be hurt. My answer to that is, if AMC is exploring new ventures, it's very possible that this thing does something huge and this thing continues to flourish. And I say this because when you look at the big fundamental improvements, AMC announced merchandise, right, just a couple of days ago. And in just two days, this person tweeted AMC's, you know, their beanies. Many of them are sold out. Red mugs, black mugs, their tumblers, socks, hats, all sold out, right? This is huge because what's happening to AMC is it's not just a movie theater company. It's becoming a brand. It's becoming huge. And millions of people around the world know this company now. They're looking at it. They're, they want to start buying things. If I wanted to buy one of these like tumblers, you could see right here, I can't really do it right now because they're sold out, right? They're out of stock. A lot of these products are already out of stock completely because so many people want to start buying these things. They want to give these out as gifts. And I believe this is a big sign. It's a sign about how big AMC is becoming. Because if you if you take a few steps back and you, and you think about something, what's going to happen if AMC releases their popcorn in retail stores? What's going to happen if you go to like a local Walmart or Target or where, wherever and you start to see AMC popcorn? The second people find out, I think it's going to be a hit. I think millions of people may start to just buy them as fast as possible. And they may just sell out the same day or something. And it, it, it really opens your mind to how big this company is becoming in the eyes of so many investors, so many retail investors, so many people out there, right? To me, it's just incredible. It's absolutely incredible. And I believe that as time goes on, this opens more doors for Adam Aaron to start exploring. Are you going to release more merch? Are you going to release some other big thing out there for big movies people love them but what if they start selling you know products movie related products or something like that at the concession stands or other things like that do i guarantee that will happen no but it's very possible right the the limits are endless for this company so i believe that these fundamental improvements are going to bring in more money potentially make the company more profitable and I also believe that if this company becomes super profitable, if this company starts paying off its debt, starts refinancing debt a lot faster, these shorts, many of them are going to start covering. And on top of that, there could even be, some people speculate there could be a Disney buyout or at least a partnership with Disney, a major one. If that's the case, that is going to pounce on the shorts for real. I don't think that Ape was a great pounce on the shorts. So far, it hasn't really played out the way people wanted it to. But 
like I said, we have to be very patient. Uh, I don't always agree with everything Adam Aaron has said and done. But I will say one thing, and that is the majority of what he's done for this company has improved it fundamentally compared to where it was in 2020 and 2021 as well. Big improvements are being made, and I believe AMC will be profitable soon. Then I believe AMC will start paying off its debt. I believe as the market recovers, AMC will likely see big improvements to its share price and APE, raising AMC lots of money. You know, big improvements will be made in my opinion. And I'm very bullish on AMC as a whole because I believe that fundamentally the company is getting stronger. It could squeeze with the market or it could even squeeze during a crash like some people speculate. All these things are very possible. Now, let's talk about the share price. What are we essentially anticipating right now? Uh, what you will notice is when AMC came tumbling down, the overall setup that essentially led to the big run, uh, we could see a big comparison right here. If you look at the way AMC ran before the big June run up, you could argue that there were three main spikes here. I think I'm, I'm going to release this in another video before this thing took off. And I'm not saying that this has to be exactly the same, but there are two spikes and it looks like there might be a third one coming. Maybe. And if that's the case, we could be getting closer to the big move. I'm still very bullish. Okay, this year is going to end faster than you know it. Time is going to fly by. And before you know it, I believe this thing is going to take off like a rocket. And I believe that our patience really will pay off. All right, so anyways, that's essentially what I have for this video. Uh, I want to thank each and every one of you for being a part of this movement this long. I know it's not easy for people out there that have their families. I know that holding on and gaining patience is not necessarily the easiest thing. But I want to say that I appreciate everyone. I appreciate everyone that put their hard work, their money, their efforts, their belief in this company. I appreciate everyone for not giving up. I'm very thankful for everything that we've created together because wherever AMC goes fundamentally in terms of its share price, we're going to be together until the end, until this thing squeezes or until whatever happens, we are here. We're not giving up. We never, ever give up. We're strong. Thank you all for listening. AMC to the moon and peace out.